What's going on, guys? What's good? How you feeling? How your day going? Night going? Morning going? Wherever you at in the world, guys. What is going? Hopefully, you're off to a magnificent start. And let's tap video. However, I must say, I am so glad when I see parents reach out for support. And I know it takes a lot out of a parent to want their child to receive discipline, especially from the law. And they're the ones that really is like, okay, look, y'all need to lock him up. I'm doing everything that I can. I know that's tough for a parent. I know it is. Especially when you have gone over and on your way to make life good for your easy for your kid you're providing resources you're doing that you're going the extra mile and yet they still want to be a menace so i i really commend those parents who take responsibility who want to discipline their kid and want their kid to do right and be right and be a productive citizen in society. So I just want to commend those parents because I know it's lots of you guys out. And you know, I'm big to get on the parents who missed, who dropped the ball over and over and over and over again. So I must commend you guys for having the heart, having the guts, the courage, the will, the mindset to help do what's right for your kid. Even if it pains you, commend you, I commend you. I really do. That's tough. I'm going to be a parent one day and I know who is going to have them challenges. But let's listen to how this mom feels fed up. Well, tonight, car thefts across the city continue with three incidents happening just this morning. And now a mother of a teen who is stealing these cars is speaking out, asking for help. TNTV's Carly Dion spoke with her today and joins us live with more on why she's frustrated. Carly. Andrew Yolanda, Tiffany Hammonds says her 17 year old son recently started down a bad path and she's done all she could to try to stop it. Now she's wondering what more could be done if police keep releasing her son from custody. I've been begging and pleading. Please arrest him, lock him up, do something that's going to make him pay for the things that he's out here doing. Tiffany Hammonds says her 17 year old son has been caught stealing cars multiple times by police wow. and he's driving without a license. She feels not enough is being done to stop him. I've done almost everything I've could and it's turning him against me. He's going the opposite way and doing what he wants to do and which is turn it to the streets. Hammond says when her son has been caught by police for stealing or crashing a stolen vehicle, they keep bringing him home. Why? I don't understand. You see how many times this kid is getting locked up. You need to make him pay a little longer because that's he's doing it because he sees what's happening. I really feel for this mom. I think him seeing that nothing is being done is giving him more of adrenaline rush to go back out and do it again. Between January and August of this year, more than 7,000 cars have been stolen in the city of Columbus. Mm. A little more than half of them have been Kias and Hyundais. What? Hammond says she fears the threat her son poses to others and himself. Since he's left that I know of, he's crashed five cars. Mm. Mm. And I reported mm. each and every one that I know of. That is a shame. And he's still out here. It's not known if her son was part of the group who stole a Kia and Hyundai found at Crumb Park. The Hyundai had been set on fire while the Kia was left in the Look pond. About four hours later, officers say after a 911 call, they found a group of teens inside a car near the 700 block of Thurman Avenue. The driver then rammed into a Columbus police cruiser multiple times, causing damage to the front bumper before leaving the scene. As the city calls on parents to watch their kids, what happens when they've done all they could? Right. This mother hopes something is done soon. We're trying. But once they're here and they leave again, then what? What are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as for those car thefts earlier this morning, Columbus police say so far no arrests have been made. Reporting live at Columbus Police Headquarters, Carly Dion, 10 TV News. Guys, I just don't understand how is this okay how is this okay now where these youth can get out here and commit crimes and they're not penalized some because i'm seeing situation with meatball a travesty we're not gonna even get into that check go watch the video because i said all my two three four five six seven ten twenty cents in that video absolutely just ludicrous and this mom here is like 
No, she wants her son to live because what's going to happen is he's going to steal the wrong car. And that's all I'm going to say. He's going to steal the wrong car. He's going to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. How many lives do you think you have, bro? How many chances do you think you're going to get before something devastating happens to you? Because he's not getting the lesson and he doesn't care. That's the sad part about it. He doesn't care. I mean, come on. This is unheard of. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so kudos to the mom. Something's going on outside. Negate that, please. Don't worry about it. But kudos to the mom. I just have to shout her out because she really and truly has stepped it up. And, you know, and she probably has been doing it the whole time. You know, she's probably been saying to the police, why do y'all keep bringing him back? Um, Why don't you keep him there for uh, 30, 60, 90 days, a year? And how old is he if he's too young for kids, um, for adult? Take him to juvenile. When, when does... He learned the lesson. So I thought this was a very, very good video to show because I know one of my recent videos, I was talking about parents not taking responsibility, not putting their foot down and um, taking responsibility for their kids' behaviors because they were out doing a whole bunch of foolery. But this parent did. So I just want to come in, shout her out, hang in there, sis. Keep doing what you're doing. God is going to cover you. And hopefully this young man will get a valuable lesson before it turns to something very tragic. Hopefully the police will finally wake up and say it's time for him to spend a little bit more time in jail. Okay. We must teach our kids to do what's right because if not, the world will. Okay. And that's real. God says you reap what you sow. You plant them seeds. They're going to grow. And I know kids don't be thinking about none of that. But at the same time, it still is real. And his word does not come back null and void. All right, guys, give me some comments in the comment section. Parents, if you're out there, let me know how you feel. And I know many of you guys are thinkers who um, com who put in comments in my comment section. So you're going to, you know, give your views and give me an example where you've had to discipline your kid. And it may have been very uncomfortable, but you had to step up because your your kid's life somewhat to a degree depended on it. And it may not have been something as severe as this, but you disciplining, you disciplining your kid you reprimanding, you giving some type of consequence to a negative behavior that not is going to be that is not producing a productive outcome in your life or the kid's life. You took a stand. Share with me in the comment section because let's talk about it. You know, guys, you, guys, you, I work with, with kids, with youth, and I love to see parents step in and do those things that's going to actually create a better life for their kid as an adult if they listen and make those good choices all right happy day guys give me some feedback subscribe to the channel if you keep if you love this content want more content like this music lifestyle let's go i'll see you on the next video and i truly appreciate all of your support and keep coming back love you guys <laughs>